Hey guys, what's up? So today I wanted to talk to you all about my camera style, what's happened with Lucas, my videographer, and all that kind of stuff, just so I can kind of clear the water. Uh, because the last video I uploaded kind of caused a lot of people in the comments to be uh, confused and yeah, kind of just not angry. I don't think anyone was angry. I just think people wanted to see what I've always done, which is really awesome because it's cool to see that I've built up um, something that people enjoy. So that's cool. So basically with the uh, shooting of my videos and, and kind of like my thought process, so I've done, I don't know, maybe 150 drum covers uh, with the fisheye kind of wide shot lens. And 150 videos really isn't that much, but when I like look back on it all, especially with the new kit and like everything that's changing, I just had this like random idea one night. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get four GoPros, four tripods, four of these like boom arm things. I'm just gonna set it up and go for it. Just because I kind of just wanted to try something different in a sense. I know that the GoPro approach to drum covers has been done so many times. Uh, but I just thought that it would be something cool to do, so I did it. <laughs> and I think it, I think it worked pretty well. I wasn't like unhappy with how it turned out by any means. I definitely do agree with everyone though that the single shot is just way more powerful and it's my thing, so I should definitely s stick to it. And I am. Um, I totally am. It's just sometimes you just want to try something different. And I think that exploring things like cameras, camera angles, and stuff like that is a good thing to do, especially when you've done 150 videos um, of the same thing, essentially. So that was kind of that. Also, the other thought pattern, or kind of like the other thought that I had with it all, was I'm going on tour. Uh, we are leaving pretty much like June 26th till December 8th. I'll be on the road, uh, which is pretty insane. And we have a lot of shows around the world, plus our World War Joy US tour. And I really want to keep doing drum covers. So I don't know if you have seen or not, but I released some footage from our live show using, I think, three GoPros. And I had them attached to the cymbal stands. And I really like that. Like, I freaking love those videos because it's super raw you can see what i'm doing on stage in front of tens of thousands of people which is crazy and it's just like it still kind of kept the intimate vibe which i really liked quality is pretty bad but i don't think that like really matters i didn't want to have like dslrs like attached to my kit on stage i think that's like way overkill so my thought was if i did a couple of videos with the four GoPros in my studio, and then I kept doing the GoPros live, it would kind of even it out. But yeah, I don't know. When I looked back on my last Billie Eilish cover, I was like, ah, I don't know about this. So with Lucas, my videographer, um, I work with him a lot, obviously, with drum covers and also outside of doing drum covers. He does shoot some stuff with the band um, and he takes a lot of photos. He just does like a lot of stuff with us. So I'm always hanging out with Lucas. He's my guy. Uh, and it was funny when I when I messaged Lucas, I was like, bro, I've got this idea. I want to do four GoPros. He was like, ah, uh, and he didn't, he didn't, it wasn't like, he wasn't coming from like an angle of not wanting to work together. It was down to the fact that he was trying to show me how much energy and how much intimacy and interaction is with that one angle so shout out to lucas for giving me the real the real talk on that <laughs> um so yeah that's really that's really all it is so i have three more videos coming out with that uh gopro kind of setup and then i'm really hoping that i can fit in um another cover session before i go on tour uh, because i'll be away for so long um, so hopefully I can get one more session in no guarantee, but I'm definitely going to try and then also at the same time with all of this I'm going to be doing way more videos in front of the camera like this and there's I there's so many Videos that I need to make even like down to the most simple one, which is doing a gear rundown like it's so it's so hard to find time to do stuff like that, but I'm making a very conscious effort this year, which I explained I think in January. Wow, I'm going great. <laughs>
in January, I'm pretty sure, where I asked everyone uh, what they wanted, and a lot of people wanted, like, these intimate vlog-style videos, which is really cool, um, because I'm all about it, um, and I'm going to put the time aside to do it, so you're going to see a lot of that stuff, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'll obviously be traveling around the world, uh, touring, so I'll be able to take you on a lot of adventures and show you all the behind the scenes stuff and just like random stuff and just getting in front of the camera and talking. Before I go, yeah, GoPro idea was cool. It definitely achieved multiple angles on my kit. Was it the best option? Probably not, um, but you have to try stuff. So hopefully this encourages you to try things. And also to the old saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I should have just thought of that, really. Oh, well. Thanks so much for tuning in, and hopefully you learned a little bit of an insight into why I randomly changed my camera style. So three more videos to go, and then hopefully I can film a session back with Lucas with the fish eye, and then I am on tour. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Peace.